in or out? That will be the big question come June 23rd when this country has to make one of its biggest decisions in recent memory. The EU referendum is the topic of discussion pretty much everywhere across the UK at the moment and at the YMCA in Wolverhampton on Saturday it was no different. The homeless charity celebrated its 172nd birthday and to commemorate it hosted a politics morning encouraging young people to head down and gain a greater knowledge on a decision that will affect their generation more so than any. Because we're all about giving young people a voice, we decided to create an opportunity really. One, for them to learn about the EU referendum and two, hopefully make, help them come to a decision as to whether they will be voting in or out. Today really isn't about um, getting young people who are already politically engaged. We've got young people here who are homeless, vulnerable, who would never engage in this kind of activity. So the, these events are crucial really, just so if, if one person can take one bit of knowledge away from this today, then we'll be happy as an organisation. The YMCA were keen to keep the event neutral and wanted all young people to develop their own ideas based on the information given. Local opposing politicians turned out to support and forward their own ideas for either wanting to stay in the EU or opt out. It's about jobs and prosperity for this generation but also for the future generation as well. Through the European Union, we found a way of working with our neighbours to find peace and stability and to create um, greater, better pro prosperity for everyone. And I think it's really important that if we want to address the challenges that we face in the 21st century, we can't address them on our own. We have to work with our neighbours and find those solutions and we are stronger together as a group of 28, 500 uh, million people than we would be alone. It's a very simple matter for me, I believe in the future of our country, I think it's a bright and exciting future. I also believe in democracy and I want to see us make our own decisions to suit our own people in our own country, being great friends, cooperating with the rest of Europe and actually the world, but really being optimistic and bright and saying we can do better than this. We don't need to be held back by the EU. We can trade with them as friends, but we make our own rules and our own laws. It's our country. A number of topics were discussed during the session, with the issue of terrorism causing the most concern. Let's be less like I'm talking about terrorism. Right now, any citizen can come in here. All a terrorist group has to do is go to the country with the weakest immigration service, beat that system, and then they can come in. Hell, even if we knew the guy was a terrorist, it doesn't matter so long as he beat some other country's immigration system. But there is no guarantee we can't predict how the rest of the EU is going to behave after we come out. It increases risk of terrorists because you've got nobody to back you at all. You've got nobody to bring their military forces. A terrorist can be from here. The young people at the YMCA, at least, seem to be evenly split in opinion. However, in just over two weeks' time, we will know one way or another. And with more events like this, maybe it will be Britain's youngsters with the defining say. Aaron Wiggins for Big News.